If you're wondering if electric cars are just a fad, I'm probably not going to be able to answer that question. I can, however, tell you that yet another major manufacturer has joined the all-electric parade. This time, it's Ford, the same company that put America on wheels about 100 years ago. This is the 2013 Ford Focus Electric. It's all electric, it's not a hybrid. You actually have to plug it into the household outlet at night when you want to charge. One comedian said that he didn't want to buy an electric car because he didn't want to add range to his list of anxieties. But range is one of the two questions always asked about electric cars. The other question is, how long does it take to charge? A full charge takes about three to four hours with the optional 230 volt charging station. The car can also tell you where the closest public charging station is located. According to Ford, the number of public charging stations in the U.S. has grown from 750 10 months ago to more than 5,500 today. Now, here's something to point out. The car costs about $40,000. There's a federal tax credit of $7,500, which brings the price of the Focus Electric down to around thirty-two grand. The Ford Focus Electric, the car that never needs a drop of gas. Now you can charge it on a regular 110 wall outlet, but it takes about as long as Britney Spears' Las Vegas marriage, or you can opt for the Leviton Charger. You get it at Best Buy for $1,400, and the Geek Squad comes over with an electrician and installs it. The charger from Best Buy is universal, so if you also happen to buy an electric Mini or an electric BMW or a Chevy Volt, you're all set. Plus, unlike some of the other chargers, Ford says you can take this one with you to your next house. Ford says the big advantage of the Focus Electric over what it sees as its chief competitor, the Nissan Leaf, is that it charges in half the time. Something else that's interesting is that the cloth seats in the car are made from recycled soda bottles. Ford won't give us a 0-60 to 60 time on the Focus Electric, and we only got to drive it for a few blocks, including a small stretch of the West Side Highway, but with maximum torque from the time you press on the accelerator, you shouldn't have any problems at all merging into traffic or getting out of the way of that 18-wheeler. We also learned a new term during the news conference to introduce the Focus Electric. The term is MPGE. MPGE is mile per gallon equivalent, uh, and it's essentially as defined for being able to take how much gas as well as how much electricity and being able to actually have the combination of that define what would be on the label of the vehicle so that you can compare vehicles uh, across alternate fuels uh, for using an MPGE, and it's defined by uh, the EPA. Recycled blue jeans are also used as some of the insulation in the five-seater. The press materials for the Focus Electric say you'll save money by going electric. Ford says the Focus Electric will go 80 miles on a full charge for about $2.10. Compare that to whatever gasoline-powered car you're driving now. On the Focus Electric, the MPGE uh, is 110 as certified for city. It's uh, 99 uh, on the highway for a combined label MPGE of 105. The top speed on the Focus Electric is limited to 84 miles per hour. The EPA certifies that the Focus Electric will go 76 miles on a full charge. Ford press materials say the car can actually go up to 100 miles on a full charge, depending upon your driving habits. They have some type of display with butterflies on the dashboard that are supposed to help coach you to be a greener driver. The Bureau of Transportation Statistics says the average consumer drives 29 miles per day, so you shouldn't have any problems making it to work and back on a single charge. All of the Ford Focus electric vehicles are being built in Wayne, Michigan. Some states offer additional tax credits. For example, California gives you another $2,500, lowering the effective price of the Ford Focus Electric to about $30,000 in the Golden State. At the Ford Focus Electric launch in Midtown Manhattan, 
I'm Grant Winter reporting for Real World Test Drive.